हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल पीजी जी टीचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट एंड फेको एस आई सी एस ट्रेनिंग सेंटर सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया इन अवर सेंटर वी हैव लॉट ऑफ टीचिंग एक्टिविटीज विच इंक्लूड्स हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग एज वेल इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी स्पीकिंग अबाउट how to predict bowel formation so you know that in soft cataracts many times we face this issue that we create a big crater or a bowel and then it's difficult to emulsify the nucleus and this is a typical case where it can happen it's a cortical cataract and a soft cataract where it's difficult to do hydro delineation so if you find these kind of cases you should be aware that you might face issue of uh, this bowel formation that's because the nucleus is too soft and you see as you can see here that uh, is difficult to do hydro delineation because the cortical area is uh, kind of little bit more sclerosed or probably more dense as compared to the central part and uh, you don't get those hydro delineation rings and many of these cortical elements kind of hold the nucleus back they have probably some adhesions or stickiness there so you can either do hydro prolapse or you can do trench divide but as you can see here when you do trench divide there is a lot of cheese wiring which may happen so you have to make a deep trench and try to split the nucleus and many times this split is incomplete because the cortical sticky fibers which hold on to these pieces of nucleus but you have to make sure that you get a split somewhere because otherwise as you can see here i am trying to take out this one quadrant and the cortical sticky fibers are not allowing to come out and that's when you keep on chipping on this uh, nucleus and then ultimately it leads to a bowel so here the idea is that at least one pole should be out so either we can do it by train divide and then pulling out one edge of this uh, quadrant out or otherwise if you are stuck you can do hydro prolapse so here i could remove or it, i can i could prolapse one quadrant out and that's the end of it we don't require much of phaco energy here so it's more of aspiration but the key is to bring one piece out of the bag which gives space and then rest of the pieces you can just prolapse and aspirate so uh, that's how you should deal with these kind of cases of cortical soft cataract and always remember when you see this kind of case think about bowel formation that that is likely possibility in that case so make sure that when you are you are doing trenching you do it deep and try to get a split quadrant at least one quadrant should be properly split from others and uh, otherwise you can go back to hydro prolapse so have a good size rexis before you begin for more such videos do subscribe to my youtube channel thank you